This is Ryan Yell with Technique Peak, and today we'll be discussing a way to mobilize a hip joint from a prone position. So you see I have Donis here lying prone. Um, first, we're going to bring him, flex the knee, slightly abduct the hip joint, put it closer to the closed packed position. And from there, we're going to do just a gentle assessment, looking at external rotation, internal rotation, and the arc of motion. Now, an important consideration of this is a, we don't want to be doing this with any of our post-operative patients that might have either a labral or other joint-related precaution uh, because this does put stress in the anterior posterior portions of the joint, uh, as well as anybody who has any kind of medial knee-related uh, pathology as the internal rotation position will place some valgus stress on the knee joint. Now, once we've assessed his range of motion, well, first we'll start with External rotation, working on the anterior portion of the hip. Put Donis in a figure four position, and as you can see, he has he has pretty good mobility there. But you want to be aware of the hip, the hip that you're mobbing, coming off the table, signifying some anterior restriction. If that's the case, we're going to shorten the amount of movement that we provide for this mobilization. Once you have them at the resting position, we placing hand on the posterior aspect of the femur, right behind the greater trochanter and directing an anterior superior force towards the front portion of the joint. Right. Now with this, we can do some gentle oscillatory movement. We can go a little bit deeper. You can go through grades one, two, three, up to four if needed. Okay. But again, the direction of force, anterior superior towards the front of the joint. To mobilize more posteriorly or into internal rotation, once again, we're going to bring Donis to his end range here. Once we've hit that limit, we're going to stabilize with one hand, and the other hand, which will be performing the motion, is going to go on the lateral border of the sacrum. Now here, we're just going to gently push directly in front, or lateral, or medial, I should say, and perform a gentle oscillatory type of movement to get a good stretch into the posterior aspect of the hip. That's it.